Welcome back to another episode of Spider-Man. In the last one, we just got done with what I like to call the Sea of Poison when Scorpion had poisoned Spider-Man and we had to go make an antidote. As well as seeing Miles risk dealing with the Rhino to go get medicine for Feast, who needs it the most right now in this crisis. So, let's head on into the game and see what kind of action we can get into. Oscorp. I've got my issues with how they operate, but can't deny their success. Octavius will do if he finds out you failed! 
And that brings down Rhino, Scorpion. Four down, two to go. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Pete, hey. I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sable's men. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. Okay, it's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. Good shot. Oh Lord, Jameson, shut up. AKA, he couldn't get it without dying. Uh, just remember he made Scorpion. Just saying. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator is on lockdown. I need to get into the security room to unlock it. Mayor Osborne really lives here? I never see him. There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. A health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. Hey, let us back upstairs. I've got a medical emergency here. Oh man, I can't breathe. Oh, we'll back upstairs. Every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. 
Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. That should do it. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. You definitely lost my Security room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is hard to make sense of things when you're not used to it. Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. <laughs> I like this thing. I do too. I do too. Gotta turn him around. What was that? Good boy. Down, boy. Down. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Hey, how you doing? Ah, don't worry. Watson, super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. Uh -uh. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Fire it. Watch your sixes, men. Stupid, useless button. Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic commencing. Please remain calm. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. So weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still... MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. What is this thing? Oh, crap. Whoa. This mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? Wonder where it leads. Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. That was kind of cool. But before I go in there... Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? Nobody. Recorder for a keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Door 
Where's your lock till the system check finishes? Fabulous Oz. Norman bids his son farewell. Huh. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. Any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but was it July or August? Harry kept a journal. Maybe he recorded the date there. about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms and a motto. Pax in bellow. Peace in war. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. Norman locked up Harry's room. Wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? City's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big... Bon voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway, listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad, you know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so tired. tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Certainly likes to remind guests of his status. A photo was removed, though. Wonder what was there. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. God, Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? His mom Emily. We used to make fun of them for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. 
Score. This must be the key for Harry's room. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board, and he's left room for more. Setting your sights higher, Norman? Can't be for Harry, can it? Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. Leaving for Europe today. <laughs> Not sure how this is going to go. Dad says there's no risk, but that's Dad. Dr. Michael thinks it's more like 50-50. So, okay, I might not make it. If that happens, I bet you'll be reading this, Dad. Who am I kidding? You'll probably read it anyways. Norman always has to know. So if you are reading this, Dad, and if not risk at all, turns out to be another Osborne campaign promise, then do me a favor. Show this next part to Pete and Mary Jane. Just them, please. Thanks, Dad. Love you. To Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson. Guys, I'm sorry. Really sorry. If you're reading this, man, this is tough. Even in my imagination, imagined hypocritical letter to you, it's hard to be honest. Here goes. I'm sick, like really sick. Doctor thinks it's something, it's the same thing mom had. Neurodegenerative rapid onset. I've known for a while, but thought I could manage it. I didn't tell you cause, well, cause I didn't tell you. I was worried how you react and I couldn't stand to see you go through, through what I did with mom. Watching her suffer, knowing I couldn't help. Watching her die was worse than dying. Things got really bad recently. All those times that I wiped out from partying or just super busy, not partying, not busy, sick. This Euro trip, well, it's a cover. I'm going in for treatment. Experimental long term. Dad's been working on it forever. Promise it'll work. He hates the nickname the techs have for it. Devil's Breath. Says it makes something good seem scary, but maybe devil's breath is what I need. A little bit of bad to do a lot of good. Okay, dad's here. Time to go. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready. And I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. God, be kidding me. Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Copy that, Control. We're five by five. Hmm. Better 
Nobody. Oh, you don't mess with the lady with the taser. Taser. You go down. July 18. Bingo. Super creepy. Got up one of these things. Prototype hand grenades. Harmon's got a real mad scientist thing going on. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. Kind of makes sense, though. Michael's is the lead on Devil's Breath. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Had no idea they owned so much of New York. Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath Lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Bet I'm looking for a heavily guarded Oscorp building that Dr. Michaels visits. Oscorp building, but no Michaels or sable. That's not it. Where do these three categories overlap? Right that here! The lab's location. Don't think I've chosen the right categories. Bet I'm looking for a heavily guarded Oscorp building that Dr. Michaels visits. Dr. Strom, isn't he a robotics expert? No movement from Dr. Van Adder. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. Wherever the anti are commercial buildings. Wow, so many records facilities. Oscorp's going all in on the... No, Norman's not crazy enough. A records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's Breath lab. Bravo, bravo, bravo. And this must be the C team. Good old Alpha team. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big sable presence. GR27. That's the code name yes. for Devil's Breath. This is it. Temple Cathedral. Isn't that. I knew it. 
Bentham Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR27 Martin E incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. They started all of this. They created Lee. I, I have to get this. No. Oh, shit. Who's there? And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. Clear that balcony. You're amazing. <laughs> ah, young love.
It's all so much to take in. Harry's sick. Norman and Lee. And Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. And I'm not this on again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... You find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. To get that anti serum and start putting things right. There must be some way to reach Lee and Otto. Convince them to give up this crusade for revenge. They've both done so much good for the world. They can't throw their legacies away just to spite Norman. Okay, Norman's on his way to get the anti serum. Better update Yuri. I hope this is good news. It is. Oscorp just created an anti serum. Well, I think this is going to be a good sure? place to stop off. So we have taken down both Rhino and Scorpion by using their stupidity against them. And now we've finally found out what's actually happened to Harry. And boy, was that a trip to find out. So, until next time, everybody. Peace out. We'll keep you on the flip side, okay?